Just how happy can one home be? We find out by cranking up the orange and the pretty. Hello and welcome, you're joined by me, Ashmika Singh on Property It's Hot. Select each article of furniture for your house very carefully based on their aesthetic appeal and functionality. Let's take you through the highlights. Do's and don'ts of a sea facing house. Organic Terrace Gardening in the Garden City, Bengaluru And we tell you how you can decorate your home for fall Mumbai's coastline is the envy of its neighbours and a Mumbai curse pride in fact, some of the best homes in the city are those next to the shore. But having that sea-facing house means you have to take extra care to maintain your home. Ashwini Priyolkar tells you what to watch out for. Having a home by the sea has many advantages. It allows you to take a quick walk on the beach and enjoy the fresh sea breeze. But all this comes with a price. These moisture-laden winds and uh, can wreak havoc with your house, with your health. Um, with uh, hum humidity in the air, even the furniture, the furnishings can go for a toss. So you need to be very careful even when you're planning at the onset. Well, worry not. Here are some quick tips to keep in mind if your home is near the sea. Use elastomeric and phenomestic paints that don't let the moisture percolate into the wall. Try using PU paints and polishes at the planning stage itself for long-lasting protection. Avoid wood as it degenerates. Instead, use vitrified tiles that look as good as wood. If you're still intent on using wood, use seasoned teak wood or laminates that last longer. Make generous use of glass as it never gets affected by high humidity. Levels. Use fabric blends in home upholstery and furnishing as they don't wear and tear easily. The market has enough to offer today that sparse smart replacement of materials uh, which give you the desired look but serve you much better in long run especially in sea, sea facing home and tropical and humid climates. So do keep in mind these points if your home is in the proximity to the sea. The simple points will make sure that your home does not lose its charm anytime soon. In Mumbai, Ashwini Priyolkar, NDTV. Fed up of the increasing urbanization in Bengaluru? A growing number of citizens are taking up organic terrace gardening. A hobby that was usually associated with the elderly, edible gardening is fast becoming a healthy trend. It is also helping Bengaluru stay true to its garden city tag. Stacey Pereira tells us why you should start your own terrace garden. Take a look. Are the soaring vegetable prices getting you worried? Or not convinced about the chemicals added to your sabzi? You wouldn't have to fear if you simply grew your own. An increasing number of Bengalurians are taking up organic terrace gardening which is not only helping them stay healthy but also beautifying their homes. I started seeing, seeing the greeneries, uh, I mean the green leaves, what we get outside. Somehow I used to feel it's really very horrible, dirt and the pesticides, whatever we are seeing. Then I started using this, I could make out the uh, taste difference. As of now, to be frank with you, I think maybe around 60% what I uh, get it from my testing, that's more than enough for my uh, household. Dr. Vishwanathan is a pioneer in terrace gardening and also conducts classes for those interested in growing their own produce. He says it doesn't take much to get drawn to the spade and once you get your hands dirty, it is almost therapeutic. According to him, all you need is a terrace or a balcony with enough sunlight. Any container that can hold mud, like old paint cans or used flower packets work. OTG also helps in producing your own manure from all the kitchen waste. It helps reduce the temperature of your surrounding. And most importantly, it acts as a stress buster and helps you stay healthy. The benefits, he says, are endless. First, your health will improve. Your doctor's will, bill will come down differently. And that is, then you grow vegetables which are, as I was already telling, 100% free because you are growing. 
for your food. You are not selling. The organic terrace gardening community is flourishing in Bengaluru. Events like My Dream Garden and Utha from My Thutta have seen a great response and it is the youngsters this time around who are showing keen interest. Now I am really happy because it's the future generation which is coming to us. It is not the old retired people. But, and the builders have to realize. Builders must provide space for gardening, not the landscape gardening, but the edible gardening. hobby to its therapeutic qualities, organic terrace gardening has shown its positive effects for all. For these Bengalurians, nothing feels better than growing your own produce and eating it too. In Bengaluru, with camera person Nazir, Stacey Pereira for NDTV. The maximum city of Mumbai has become synonymous with a concrete jungle. But not many know that this city also houses some of the most striking examples of post-colonial architecture in the country. Today we put a spotlight on some of the architectural marvels that you shouldn't miss out on in Mumbai. Reclaimed from seven islands, Mumbai city today is known for both its towering buildings and vast slum. But the city also has another side to it, one centred around its architecture. Mumbai uh, only, only rarely creates uh, design icons, mm -hmm. but it certainly has a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, uh, sophisticated architecture happening in terms of efficiencies, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, construction technologies mm -hmm. and in terms of scale. So what are some of these examples of architecture that Mumbai is so proud of? Among residential projects, we have the Kanchanjunga building designed by award-winning architect Charles Correa. It is often called an architect's muse and will leave you mesmerized. Next among infrastructural marvels, we have the T2 International Airport Terminal, which combines the best of state-of-the-art technology while showcasing Indian art. Office spaces are not often considered exciting, but the Express Tower in Nariman Point is a class apart. One of the first tall buildings in the city, it is known for breaking from convention with its black colour and creating an identity for itself with its elegant design. The Nehru Centre or the Pineapple Building as it is known is our pick for the best institutional building and celebrates experimentation in designs. And last but not the least, we have IIT Bombay, a structure which architects say makes a lasting impression with the use of technology and revolution in design. All these architectural marvels have one thing common in them. The makers did not shy away from experimenting. Let's hope this trend continues even further. From Mumbai, for Ashwini Priyolkar, Ashmika Singh, NDTV. We slip into a short breather here. Coming up next, introduce wearing for an autumnal look in your home decor. Stay tuned.